Hello, and welcome to an episode of ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, we'll be discussing the programmable unijunction transistor. Now, it is similar to a thiester, but it also depends on who you talk to as to how it's classified. Some people will call it a field effect transistor, other people will call it the thiester. But basically, I'm just going to show you how these things are used and how to test them. Now, I don't actually have one with me, but I will uh, show you illustrations as to how you can test these. So, let's get started. The programmable unijunction. And this here, if when you see the, the symbol for it, if you're familiar with silicon controlled rectifiers, which is a thiester, transistor <laughs> doesn't this look similarly to it the only difference between this and a SCR is that the gate is on the cathode side instead of the anode side that's the only the only difference basically it's the same thing now what this sets the unijunction transistor apart is the it requires a voltage divider now as for the unijunction, it had a fixed threshold for the emitter. And when the voltage reached that threshold, then it would conduct. Well, the programmable, you can program the gate to a certain voltage. When the anode becomes more positive than the gate, then the transistor turns on and then the current flows through the anode to the cathode. And that's basically how these things work. You can adjust the gate. It's like a dam. The taller you build a dam, the more the water has to build up to get over the dam. This is the same thing. Now, these two were also used in the same things as pulse and timing circuits and uh, sensing and all, uh, even pulse shaping. That's what these were used for. But you don't see these very often. I haven't seen these things in years. Now, to test a programmable unijunction transistor, you can use either an ohmmeter or you can use a diode check. Uh, now, if you're going to use an ohmmeter, as you can see in my illustration, uh, you put the positive probe to the anode and the negative probe to the cathode. Uh, there should be no conduction or open circuit between the anode and the cathode. This is with the no connection to the gate, as you see here. Now, you can briefly connect the gate to the cathode, and it may turn on the transistor, creating a low resistance between the the anode and the cathode. Now this won't work with all meters. It just depends if they can provide enough power. Uh, if you're going to use a diode check, uh, the measurement between the anode and the gate with no connection to the cathode should be as low, similar to that of the silicone diode. If you've tested those, you'll they usually run about 0.5 to 0.7 volts and it should only do this in only one direction. Uh, if you diode checked between the gate and the cathode with no connection to the anode, you should have no conduction in either direction. And that's how you can test the programmable unijunctions. As for testing a circuit, you can use this to demonstrate whether or not your transistor is working. Uh, you'll need uh, a 100K ohm resistor and a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor. Uh, I've, you could do this with a 9-volt battery. 
If you look to the right, you'll notice the two 1K resistors. This creates the voltage divider and sets the threshold to the gate. So when the capacitor is charged to the threreshold of the gate, then the gate uh, transistor turns on and bleed, it opens the circuit to where the capacitor drains through the transistor. Now you can hook these up to uh, a speaker or frequency counter, amplifier, etc. And you should hear a tone right around one kilohertz. Well, that concludes the video for programmable unijunction transistor. I hope it was informative. I apologize for the video. I, you know, I don't have one to actually show you, but I wanted to give you the information that I knew to help you test them. So if you came across one, now you know how to test one. Well, be sure to vote if you liked or disliked the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with our latest activity and our video uploads. And leave a comment if you wish, or you can contact, contact us with questions that you may have. I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.